Right, uh, this little video is um, basically showing you how to do this, the, um, the red and the white on your safety and firing mechanism on your gun. This applies to any gun, obviously, as long as the words are in, impressed into the metal. So um, it's easier to see when you're on range. So I'm going to show you how to do it on this side. I'm going to do the little indentation also on the other side of the safety. So what you're going to need for this is some cheap varnish, red one and a white one. I did want a brighter red than this, but this is all I could get today. These are only about £1.50 each. So a toothbrush, just for a little scrubbing, a cotton bud and some nail polish remover. Oh, and some hand sanitizer. So first of all, I'm going to give it a quick wipe over with a little bit of the um, alcohol hand sanitizer. Give that all a good clean. Get the toothbrush in it. Let's get any little bits of crud out. And let that dry off give that about five minutes um, then we'll come back to it and we'll start applying the first coat of uh, nail polish right so now that's had a little bit of time to dry off I'm going to apply the first coat of nail varnish which is this white one very lightly and get paint it over everything pushing it into the um, into the lettering and then drawing it back a little bit Make sure you get it right in there. A good coating. Dab it in. And then come over lightly across the top. And I'll do this little bit here. Draw that off as well. There we go, let that dry and get, give that, I don't know, a good 10, maybe 15 minutes to make sure it really dries right into the lettering. Because the last thing you want to do is be wiping that out and starting all over again. So uh, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when it's dry. Right, now is the time to wipe off the excess carefully using the nail polish remover so get a clean spot on your cloth do, 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 do. you don't want this too saturated so you don't want it running everywhere so dampen the end of the cloth and then gently pull it tight on your fingertip and gently start rubbing it across the top and you see it's coming off same again there 
not too much pressure because you don't want to take the lettering out and then again over here and then on that pin give that another gentle wipe all around with a cleaner bit of cloth don't press too hard and there you have your lettering to start off with so what you want to do for the red parts which is going to be semi and auto we're doing this in white initially so that it makes the red stand out even more so um i'll give it another quick wipe and then we'll go over it in red so another dry bit of cloth gently rub it don't apply too much pressure And then we're going to apply the red. So I'm going to off screen, give this a little bit of a warm up in my hand and shake it and then come back and apply it. So we give it a couple of minutes. Okay, so now we're ready to apply a coat of red. Again, same process. Don't get too much on the brush. And just start to apply. I'm going to start with um, auto. Dab it in. Make sure you get plenty of varnish into the holes. Press it in gently. Drag it away. The excess. Do the same on semi. Just lightly drag across the top, make sure that's covered. So I'm going to leave the coating that's on the top surface of the um, receiver, don't to leave it too thick. Because we've got to rub that away. So let's take some excess off the brush. Drag that off to the edge. there you go so again we're gonna, now going to let that dry for about 15 minutes and come back to it right so the um, the red varnish is now dried <clears throat> and we're going to wipe away the excess again wet your cloth scrape off the excess on the side you don't want it saturated and then start to rub the excess away and go make your way around the lettering as much as you can and then gently over the top give it a quick wipe with the dry part And there you have it. Job done. So now you can easily see if your gun is on fire mode or safe just at a glance. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. I appreciate it. And um, catch you later on the next one. Thanks for watching.